Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. I got back from an impromptu uh, trip to see my family. And we now... Why, why am I in Codex? Uh, we're doing Radio Free Monarch. I checked, and we need to kill, apparently, seven marauders. So let's uh, let's do that. <laughs> let's get crack a leg. Oh, can we open it? Okay, can we... No Bioware, uh, Bioware hallway elevator, uh, conversations. Oh, good. Something's not right. Get him! Hell? Huh? What was that? Except I don't know. Break you! Incoming! I hope I don't. Can I accidentally hit my. I can. Oh. <laughs> That's a problem. Okay, just let them kill. Wait, are you? Did she? Does she have a red on her head? Oh, you do, but you're like that's the last of them. What? I'm confused. She had a name. Was she a friend? Were they friends? Did I accident? Mm. Waste of company ammo. Here they come. I think I messed up. <laughs> I think I messed up. I think by hitting them, I potentially um. By hitting them, I think I activated the kill switch on them. Unless some of the vandal people were already named but usually they're not so maybe i'll maybe i'll use a gun this time i don't have a good gun i don't i don't have a precision gun okay i gotta find myself a precision see i don't use that so let's um the berman maybe i think i actually have some points in long Guns. I. Uh. Oh. Oh uh, ho ho! Look at me. Ha <laughs> ha! I thought it looked like a sniper rifle. It's got a scope. This is not this is not the ideal place to be using this. Oh, and the blind fire sucks. Yeah, I don't want this. This is a sniper rifle for sure. Get that, get it out. Get it out. Unequip. Oh, I'm still Because I'm holding it, I can't unequip it. Okay. Get it out. Sure, you know, let's just use this tiny little handgun that I definitely don't have any skills in whatsoever. As you can tell, I don't want to do that. All right, let's do it. Okay. Handgun time. Oh, oh semi-automatic handgun time. Thank you for reloading me. I always forget that. Look at me holding it one-handed like a noob. Light him on fire, ladies and gents. Okay. Mm, that's all. Right. Yeah, you were a friend. Oh, jeez, and I definitely activated. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> I don't like. I don't like handguns. I don't like handguns. I've decided. Everyone, all right? <laughs> what silver tone? Right. Huh? Oh, oh. How are you guys doing? Oh, jeez. <gasps> they die. Oh, jeez. Um, hang on. 
Oh shoot, I can't remember what's good against armor. I think acid's good against armor. Oh, you already died. Okay, so we're doing That's the last of them, I think. Well, okay, you're the only survivor. <laughs> Approaching! I shark! Oh my gosh, you're the only survivor of that group. Oh my gosh. I feel bad. I truly do. Alright, talk to me, buddy. Ah, Marauder free at last. I'll get the door. Whoa. Do hurry on in. Oh, hi. Here, I'll put my, my weapon away. Nerd, what's up? Never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. And you got me my money's worth out of the C3s. I ought to have simply dealt with you in the first place. Uh, I think, no, I, I didn't do it out of the goodness of my heart. Hmm, yes, <laughs> I believe I did. <laughs> if you get my drift. This ought to square our debt. One hefty payment for a highly valued service rendered. But, I admit, I do wonder why Nioka has brought you to me. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why? In the nebula, are you here? <laughs> so dealing with these people, usually I try to be like nice and polite, but this game makes me just want to be so deadpan sarcastic. <laughs> uh, you're an easy man to reach, broker. That is the primary goal behind locking myself high in a tower. Some folks don't look kindly on me being a purveyor of delicate information. Phineas must have sent you. Yeah, that He's the was only elite. Insane enough to send someone to Monarch to rush me. Oh, okay. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a knocking. Look, I might be late, but I fulfill my contracts always. Oh, you do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chasing raptodons off your stoop. You said that in a way that was almost believable. <laughs> I take offense to that. <laughs> Look, okay. Just, it might take me a while this time. Mm-hmm. I am awaiting but a single incoming transmission containing the information we desire. But MSI and the Iconoclasts are clogging the airways ah. from Stellar Bay and Amber Heights. Time to... In their war against each other, they're scrambling each other's outgoing transmission. Time to shut down free speech. Uh, so we kicked them off. Exactly what I was thinking. They hurt us all with their pettiness. You? They hurt you? Which of course has inadvertently affected the incoming port and my livelihood. Uh, tell me more about them. Graham and his iconoclast believe anarchy is the way of life. Sanjar opposes it as he's taking strides to corporatize Stellar Bay. Can we cut them off from inside the stations, Zidbois? No, they're jamming the limited frequencies we have at our disposal. Nothing extraplanetary can get in or out until the frequency pollution thins out. The safest bet is to convince Graham and Sanjar to stop transmitting on their end. Just for a bit? Just for a minute? Can we, like, you know, just have, like, scheduled times? Maybe we have scheduled times for everybody's propaganda. Like, like, um, in, in, order, in orderly manner <laughs> for protest, I guess. I don't know. I could just kill them all. That would make it easier. Um, my former partner, Sanjar, former transmits partner. from his office in MSI's headquarters in the center of town. Easy to get to. Don't let him try to fool you. While his messages might seem like gibberish, they are in reality coded business orders to off-world companies. Interesting. I understand why he needs the bandwidth, but we had a deal and he's broadcasting ceaselessly. Amber Heights is one of the only surviving settlements outside of Stellar Bay. Graham Bryant and the Iconoclast there got their hands on a working relay station. Now they're ceaselessly transmitting philosophist ramblings on my airwaves. <laughs> I'll talk some you do sense that, to him. I'll be here waiting on the receiving end. Luck be with you. I have a feeling you'll be needing a pinch of it, plus a vat of patience. Yeah, if I'm gonna talk to him instead of just beat them into the beat them over the head here, we'll chat. Is that a trick question? Yeah, it's dumb. Because to answer it, you'd need to pay me. Of course, I could offer you a vastly more interesting bit of data instead. Try me. Ask me anything you'd like. I'll even offer it for Ooh. free. We'll call it an exchange for your help with the broadcast. Mm. Ask me what you will. Um, 
I'm actually curious. I was gonna see if he knew anything about my ship, like uh, like the ship I came in on, the Hope. Uh, uh broadcast from Earth. What? No. Why would I go out of my way to intercept messages from Earth? There's no market for them. No buyer means it's not worth my time. That's crazy, really? Now, if you wanted me to intercept a certain one, that might be worth it for the right price. Tell me not about Phineas. Much, admittedly. Come on, something. Phineas has been in hiding for the past 35 years. He got in touch with Nioka first, who I use as a physical go-between. The rest is history. As far as what's between us, I mean. Outside of that, well... That's a raptodon of another color. What? Hmm? Yeah, I'm listening. <laughs> I do know this much. There is a sharper side to the good scientist than you'd expect. I should go talk to him. <laughs> if allegations are to be believed, the experiments he conducts for the greater good are in fact treasonous and for self-gain. I am not oh. convinced as to the validity of these allegations considering the source. Corporates. But I am also not unconvinced either. Maybe nobody understands his genius or something, you know? Luckily for you, I am a veritable font of information. No, normally I have to pay for it, so he said you- I thought I could, said I could only ask one question. They are a curious lot. Insufferable. And short-sighted, too. What else do I, you I keep losing track of the various groups. Um... What's the story between them? You mean between MSI, the Iconoclasts, and myself? I bet neither of those megalomaniacs told you I was the true mastermind behind Monarch. You're the biggest megalomaniac Back when of the them all. The was still Terra One, and corporations were abandoning us left and right. I'm the one who approached Sanjar and Graham with the means to our salvation. I offered them a legal way to take control of the a planet. A third option. If MSI were the only corporation here, they could claim sole ownership. I'm glad because I almost didn't click the talking button. Like the let's chat. What's a what's an information broker? Cause that's a dumb question. But see, kids, this is why you click all the dialogue options. Uh, so MSI would have to stay behind while the other corporations left. Precisely, the other corporations were fleeing because of the hazard clause declaring Terra One uninhabitable. <sighs> but MSI had lagged behind, giving Sanjar and Graham an opportunity: take over MSI, stay here while the other corps left. Take over the planet. And there's nothing in it for you, huh? Even then, I plied my trade as an information broker, albeit in a smaller capacity. Of course, I demanded an exchange for the data. Thus, the bargain was struck. They could run MSI while I would operate Devil's Peak Station. Unfortunately, relations have soured over time. As they do. Why did they? Why did it fall apart? Competing ideologies. Graham believes Sanjar has become corrupted by the corporate lifestyle, that he is now similar to the original corporate executives they sought to reform. And Sanjar has learned the hard way that Graham is quite morally gray. Mm, willing to do what it takes. Yes, this is really this is really good because if I'm gonna like I'm so glad I clicked the talking button, not only to figure out there's potentially a third way, but so I could potentially get some dirt on these guys when I go talk to them. Sanjar is not actually at fault for his past performance reviews, but he can keep hunting for loopholes to get back on the board for the next century. He'll never be reinstated. Not in his lifetime. For Nebula's sake, even with the loophole I gave him, he's only in charge of MSI because every other exec died during the massacre at Amber Heights. What? What? I gave Sanjar and Graham legal information that would allow MSI to own Terra One. I mean, yes. Once the other corporations had abandoned uh -huh. the planet. Massacre. The execs had their concerns, but before the matter could be resolved, pirates raided their homes <gasps> in the night. Was that Sanjar? <gasps> Sanjar did it. Oh my gosh, Sanjar killed everybody. He doesn't seem like the type. He's kind of a moron, seemingly, but maybe he's not. Some say... Graham suffers from nightmares that leave him sweat drenched and screaming. Okay. <laughs> I would assume it stems from the friends and family. Oh, he lost in maybe that's why he's. Years ago. Other reason he's angry at Sanjar. Oh. If it was Sanjar, I'm just making speculations. Luckily for you, I am a veritable font of suppositions. Let's talk about the board. There are so many members. Do specify. Do you know them? Oh, jeez. Any. Whoa, compromising info on the chairman. 
If you try to cite me on this, I will deny, deny, deny. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> what I am about to reveal is the sort of information that gets a body disappeared. Am I, I don't have to pay for it? MSI's ownership of Monarch is technically legal, but it would give MSI too much power on the board to grant them such status. Intelligence. So the chairman demonizes Monarch rather than welcome me back into the fold. Exactly. But you didn't hear so much as a whisper of such from me. Interesting. Luckily for you, I am a veritable font of information. Having an information broker friend who's chatty is very handy. How low you seemingly regard oh, my trade. I called it gossip. I'm sorry. Uh, secure some information? I may have a secret for you. For the right exchange. Oh, oh no, okay. How low you seemingly regard my trade. No, no, no. It's super important. I know I know Liara very well, and I respect her greatly. She's number one information broker in my eyes. You're you're pretty good though. Be a doll and shoot any marauders you spot on the way down. Call me a doll again and I'll shoot your eyeballs. <laughs> Leave her alone. Is this a way out? Uh huh. Uh huh. You should maybe. <gasps> Whoa. I can broadcast. Uh, personal files. Hmm. Maybe you shouldn't leave your. I mean, he's, I guess he's not used to having visitors, but maybe you shouldn't leave your stuff unlocked. Clear blue skies. Mood optimistic. Dare I say, the future's looking bright. Indeed, I can run a full gamut of operations without ever leaving the sanctuary of the broadcast room. Sanjar and Graham living into their promises. I believe I can make a live here. Sneaky, sneaky. Mood, sneaky. Uh, had a near miss the other day. Nearly ended up with the board on my tail uh, trail. We will mark that trial firmly in the failure category. One must experiment, however, to ascertain the best methods. I have found thus far that the most reliable method for evading detection within the limited frequencies of Monarch's operable transmissions involves duplicating regular news broadcasts on several unused frequencies. My information gathering associates know to filter out the sounds in the vocal range, in turn isolating the embedded data. Wow, and the board's author authorities are none the wiser. Playing hazard has never been so thrilling. No high stakes. Should have known. Mood furious. Pox at all. His imbecile children in their hatred of each other, Sanjar and Grandma oversaturated my key bands. They'll take down each other all right. <laughs> I thought I said all night. I was like, oh, jeez. And me alongside with them. I should have never invited them to play. But what to do about it now? It's okay. I'm here. What if I begin broadcasting something? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me save. Uh, oh, wrong save button. I don't want to, like, because he said he, he almost got in trouble for a certain broadcast thing, but he's figured it out, so if I wanted to broadcast something. Let's see, this is the transmission log. Oh, yeah. I was curious if I could do it, but he says he can't. Amber Heist data is iconoclast in origin. Graham is behind him to speak with him. Celebrate broadcasts are coded gibberish. Could potentially use to black Marsanjar. Has a signature all over it. Don't even try to pretend that you're unaware the broadcasting is currently locked down. Please return to milling about the break room and lamenting the, that internship and corporate arbitration arbitration that you never finished. Or to override the lock on recording, simply enter your user answer name, your admin username and password in the command line. Oh, you can't? Maybe you should have been nicer to Val. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. Always can use ammo. Always, always, always. Ooh. Out we go. Are we are we stuck on this now? Or am, am I gonna like run around doing other things potentially? Just whatever floats my boat. I actually will check the map for where Hayes, I think, is buried for Neoka. Monthly subscription for the dissident. When indentured servants are free, anarchy soon follow soon follows. Huh. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, this game is so spot on the nose with just the 
the absolute like ridiculousness of the propaganda, but it's stuff that actually is said out loud in real life. I should, <laughs> I should level up. Two hand in my life. Put something there. Um. Oh, yeah, long guns are the ones that I have like a tiny bit more than handguns. I should I should maybe put a long gun in instead of just a bunch of fancy weapons that I enjoy. Uh, persuade. A coward targets armor minus 50. Nice. This isn't gonna level up anytime super soon. Ugh, I might as well just put it over the edge there and put that last point in there. I. Where does the bonus. Nice hat, Nyoka. That's right. <laughs> These two. I have a liar and an intim- I can't believe he's- I would think he's a liar and she's intimidating. They've got it switched around, in my opinion. I should pay attention to their bonus skills, but mostly I just wing it and hope for the best. Good, 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 good. Okay, time to put a real gun in my hands. Can we- Wait, I want to- Sort them, yes. Get that out of my hands. Huh? Oh! That's a lot, a lot of damage. Oh, dang. Wait, could I see that? And then... Thought maybe I could see an impact, but I can't. I think... Is the game just not rendering over there? Am I falling? I feel like that was weird. Why is- why is everything floating over there? Why are the giant mushroom rocks floating? Anyway. Oh yeah, map. Nyoka. Is it gonna... I guess I have to click it first. Yeah, let's go to Nyoka's really quick. I think we are closer. I think I don't actually know where I am. I think we're right here. Yes. Off we go. De why are we up so high and no way down? Why did I come out here? It's a nice view. Oh, is that a ladder? Here we go. Definitely a normal human. Definitely using a ladder in a normal way like a normal human does. <laughs> I hope Addie or whatever her name is is uh, good. Is that you? Oh, no, no. You didn't even go inside. You just stayed out here. Very smart. Is there stuff? Very smart. Um... Looks like we'd actually be better off taking the road. Let's, why not we just fast travel down to that point? No, fast traveling sucks. Takes forever. And the loading screens are so long. It probably would be, it would probably be okay. Of Hiram's home. <laughs> just kidding. Guy never sets foot outside. I don't know how to use guns. I don't know how to use guns. I don't like them. Ow! 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 That sucked! Ow! Oh my gosh! Hold on! Uh... Has an albino sibling, that's good to know. That'll help me in this fight. I actually can't remember... ...what's good against her, but so far... ...so far we're doing okay. Oh, jeez. Oops, that's not- right. Oh, wrong one. I wanted to look at their- 
Oh. Do you guys have this? Oh, they're blinded. But what are, what are mine? Something about medicine. Aw, look at this little baby. Mine's like got a medicine thingy and a heart thingy. Incoming. Oh, we stunned it, I think. No, wrong button again. In a very bad mood. It's blinded and something about armor. And... I certainly hope I can't hit my friends. Oh, no. Oh, dang. Wait. I don't think I take damage from my friends, so hopefully they don't take damage from me. Oh dang. Oh dang. They're headless. Oh, I knew it. I knew there was gonna be stuff. Iconoclast Rioter. Wait, give me. Yep, we all uh, end up the same way. Uh, yep, an MSI soldier. We all end up the same way. In the belly of a beast. Um, I, this might be kind of weird, but I keep kind of hoping the plants attack me. Like, I don't know. I feel like sentient plants is definitely a thing that would happen out here. Can I do that? Nope, I'm just gonna have to follow the road. Okay. I need, I need more video games where the plants are like moving around and like doing their own thing. Oh, jeez. You're huge. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's see if this... Hang on. Reload. What are they digging in? Thank you. I think plasma's good against armor. Oh, I have your armor. I saw that. I saw myself do that. Look at that. A belly. Oh my gosh. She's just following me. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, oh, she's still alive. Oh, dang. That's the last of I was gonna do that. I was gonna do one of the special abilities. Okay, got it. I forget, I forget that I had them for a second. Um. I guess, I don't, I know not a ton happened in this episode, but I think this is probably a good point to call it <laughs> before we find Hayes' grave. Um, but anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Those of you that are sticking around despite my irregularity, I appreciate it. And I hope you are enjoying, and I hope to see you in the next one.